let's kind of put these out. My name is Heather Conklin, right. and I'm a visual here. arts educator at Lincoln High School, and I'm also on the Performing Arts Commission. So I was on the selection committee for the public art piece uh, that actually is now Horatio Law, and I was also on the selection committee for all of the Lincoln mini grants. All of the artists and all of the mini grant projects have all used many people, and so uh, we've incorporated kids and community and families and schools. So they're all incorporated, kind of bringing the community together. So the idea is to create a mural on the intersection with community input. My name is Dion Bonner and I am a visual artist. I started by talking to community to finding out if they indeed wanted a community mural. We did about five or six workshops where we did some creative thinking exercises and we thought about Lincoln District in different ways. And then I came up with some different designs and then I had the community vote on those designs to see which ones resonated with them the most. When community members feel that they're involved and they know that they're involved, when they really have a hand in creating something, then they have more ownership over that area and they feel more connected. I think they also feel more connected to each other and that was one of the uh, um, comments that people gave me. They felt connected more to the people that they have been living by, you know, like for years. been in Tacoma since 1929, when my grandfather started us here. We're in the third generation now. I'm Salong Chen, I'm a living artist here in Tacoma, and I am into multimedia. The video project that I'm working on will profile a couple of different businesses in the area. My goal is to show the diversity and the different types of businesses that are in the Lincoln District. When we see a business, we see them as an entity and not as people. We just see, oh, this is the place that we just shop and get our groceries. Oh, this is a restaurant we come get our pho. But in reality, there's people behind these, and our project was to expose the human side of these businesses. And that's something that Home Depot could never do. Yep. No, they don't know the names of their customers. For them to be able to still be in business is very impressive to me, so I wanted to get down and do behind that and learn the story and what makes them successful. We do basic home cooking, things that people love. The climate of our country today, especially in the media and social networking, we feel like we're so divided, but I, I wanted to show another side of that that is not true. It's just uh, this echo chamber that we fall into and I just wanted to show the people in our community here that there's so much diversity here in the businesses and they're able to succeed. So we are, to me, the way I see it is that like we can work together, we are working together, and this is uh, evidence of that. The Lincoln District Revitalization Project will incorporate public art into the streetscape and find some way to connect the street and the district with the community. My name is Horatio Law. I'm the lead artist for the Lincoln District Revitalization Project. My role is to incorporate art into the streetscape and also contribute to the design and also provide a way to connect with the community through art. How did you guys come up with the cloud form? I think Horatio was a great fit for this project yep. in that he really engages the community. Is it is not his artwork that the he's future. kind of imposing on somebody. He really wants other people's voices and other people to really inspire what his vision will be. But well, there are three things I ask you guys to write down, remember? With Horatio's first project, he talked to the kids and worked with them about their dreams and aspirations. And they were actually able to find their own voice and able to share with the community at large what they felt was important. Do you remember what you wrote down for your cloud form? Students have responded to Horatio and the whole revitalization project in very positive ways. They want to be a part of it, they want to have a say, they want to see what the changes are going to be, and this has been a really good way to get them actually excited about their neighborhood and engaged and also take ownership. After spending some time in the Lincoln District, I realized 
The district itself is a very diverse community with a long history and the community has gone through a lot of changes. My artwork will have to be able to address those various elements. Instead of doing something very solid and concrete, I choose a motif that is always changing. In this case, we choose the motif of cloud form, which in itself is never the same, it's always different. And that kind of reflects how Lincoln District has become and always been an ever-changing community. Another way to look at that motif is the, the cloud form sort of represent a sense of aspiration. And that's another aspect uh, that I want to put into the art project is to reflect that part of the community uh, sense of aspiration. Art is so important. Art beautifies this whole entire neighborhood. And if the neighborhood is beautiful, I think people will take more pride in the neighborhood and it will shine. I think students, if they have more engagement, will actually take care of it. But I think the artwork that is being chosen and the artwork that's being in, that will be installed is just going to make it a wonderful place to be.